hi everyone welcome to almighty tricks hope you are doing well so today we are going to solve one question from lead code uh, so it will have so it will it will given one num one array so uh, we need to we need to rotate that array k steps into k steps so the question is like uh, so we need to rotate it in uh, right direction or clock or clockwise direction so the question will be like uh, the input will be one array and we need to um, we need to uh, rotate clockwise direction for three steps <clears throat> so let's uh, get started how we can um solve this question so similar question you can find it in geek for geeks as well so let's get started uh, input will be like let's say one two three four and five and we need to rotate up to two times okay so our output will be <coughs> like this at k step k equals to 1 so if it is k equals to 1 then our uh, array will be now so we need to do uh, clockwise direction like this so it will be like 5 1 2 3 and 4 okay so similarly if k is equal to 2 so it will be like 4 5 1 2 and 3 okay so if you see if you see uh, as we are doing clockwise rotation so this 5 will come here okay 1 will come here 2 will come here 3 will come here 4 will come here okay for for k is equal to 1 if k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 so 5 will come here okay then 1 will come here 2 will come here 3 will come here okay and 4 will come here okay so this is our final output okay <coughs> so uh, so uh, so let's start how start the approach how we can solve this one uh, so uh, i hope you you know how to reverse the array so if you don't know then you can check out my last video i'll put the link in the description so let's uh, so check that uh, video first then you can understand this thing so uh, so if you observe so our so our input will be like this one two three four and five okay and index let's say index will be zero one two three and four so this is our uh, input okay and so uh, so after k k rotation k is equal to two after k rotation our uh, array will be 4 5 1 2 and 3 right 3 right so this is our output okay now now if you see if you see here 45 is coming to here 4 and 5 is coming to here and 1 1 2 3 is coming to right side okay so if you observe here so if you if you observe here so first what it is doing so first what it is doing uh, so first it is doing we need to reverse this one first we need to reverse okay so let's reverse this input so after reversing of this input array 4 5 3 2 1 right now we 
now so this side we are getting 5 and 4 okay and also this side we are getting 3 2 1 right now observe we need to we need to make it to 4 5 then 1 2 3 so if you observe this is this is 5 and 4 but we need to reverse it we need to uh, reverse and we need to make it to 4 and 5 right similarly here also we need to make it to 1 2 and 3 but now it is 3 to 1 so so now here also we need to reverse 1 2 and 3 so our next step will be so our next step will be next step will be we need to reverse this part we need to reverse this part so reverse index 0 reverse index 0 okay reverse index 0 to how so till k minus 1 okay so if you see our k is 2 right k is 2 so we need to reverse till 0 to k minus 1 k minus 1 so this is this will be 1 2 3 4 and <coughs> finally our uh, last step will be we need to reverse we need to reverse this part right so what will be the uh, what will be the range now so range will be k to n minus 1 so what is n minus uh, what is n so n is length of n equals to um, length length of input array input array okay input array so so this is this will be the solution so first of all you need to understand how we, we can reverse the array so for that you can check out my last video and i'll be uh, so you can find the link in the description you can check that first then you can understand this one so let's get started and how we can code this one okay reverse array function okay which will take integer of a okay int start int end okay so hope you can write this logic for reversing uh, the array <coughs> okay now we can have another method where we can rotate the array okay rotate array okay so it will have input int array and int k step okay now here basically we need to first let's say int size we need to now store the size of the array a dot length okay okay and now so now what we can do we can first of all we need to reverse this uh, total input right so we need to call this reverse array method need to reverse array method and we need to pass this array okay and our start will be zero starting will be the zero and ending will be the n minus one so total complete uh, reverse we are going to do okay so once this is done then we need to reverse this part okay still zero to k minus one so reverse array okay will pass the array 0 to k minus 1 okay this is done then we need to reverse this part till k to n minus 1 so reverse array array a to 
k n minus 1 right so this is the final code so you tell me what is the time complexity time complexity will be basically this one will take big of n reverse array okay so it is calling three times big of n big of n big of n so big of n plus big of n plus big of n so it will be three big of n so where it will cancel the three finally big of n hope you understood this approach let's code this one okay so first of all uh, we'll have we'll have a variable n of size nums dot length now let's create our reverse array function so here what we'll do we'll call this reverse array reverse array nums at zero and okay, so this one will reverse whole input array then it will reverse will k minus one left side array then it will reverse from k to n minus 1 okay so if i run this one it will throw an error just uh, see what is the error so some test cases will be working fine but some test cases will not work so let's say one test case i'll put um let's say one test case i'll put so let's say array size is three array size is three but i'll uh, my uh what uh, i need to rotate uh, four times okay so array size is array size is less than k okay so in this case it will not work why i will tell you you can see it is giving index out of bound exception because the this one to there are three elements in in this array and uh, i need to rotate for four times so if i do this then then if then you can see this will not work right so this part will fail because we are we are checking for the index uh, we are checking for the index 4 but index 4 is not there it will have 0 to 0 to 2 so it will not have third index 0 to 3 it will not have so that's why it is it is giving um, index out of bound exception okay so for this basically we need to check the modulo we need to update this k value to modulo hello so first of all we check if if k is greater than n greater than n then our k value will be our k value will be k k modulo n okay. i'll explain you how of what it is happening here so i'll explain you so just uh, run this one whether it is working fine or not
see it is working fine right so let's submit this one okay it is working fine so let's uh, understand why how it is working say n size is 4 oh, sorry okay 4 and k value is let's say 6 okay and my array is like 1 2 3 4 okay but i need to rotate to still 6 okay so when i do k equals to 1 so that time it will be like 4 1 2 3 right plus k is equal to 2 that time it will be 3 4 1 2 similarly k is equal to 3 okay so it will be like 2 3 4 and 1 so when k is equal to k is equal to 5 so k is equal to 4 okay so it will be like 1 2 3 4 okay so now k is equal to 5 so my array will be 4 1 2 3 so k is equal to 6 it will be 3 4 1 and 2 right so if you observe till k when we are uh, rotating k times four times so that time if, if you see this input array is similar to this one this rotated array is similar to this input array right similarly if you see at k k equals to 2 okay when k equals to 2 that time this array is similar to k equals to 6 so sixth time we have uh, rotated but the array structure will be similar to k equals to 2 so we no need to go till uh, we no need to go to 3 4 5 6 rotation we we need to just uh, just rotate till k equals to 2 that's why we are we are using modulo so what it will do modulo will do 6 divided by 4 so 1 so it will be 2 so this modulo will say the k k equals to 2 so it will be the k so it will uh, rotate these many times then we will get the answer so we no need to do all this thing we no need to do all this thing so we need to do k modulo n and we need to update with the k value then this is the optimization we are doing so so in the lead code it asked for this one only so yeah if if you understood or if you have any doubt uh, you can comment down below and i'll try to uh, answer those questions or doubts okay so hope you understood the approach and uh, see you in next session thank you